सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन आई नो आई अपलोड न्यू कॉन्टेंट हाई गाइज वेलकम इन टू डेज लेसन वेर गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन वी हैंडल क्लिक इवेंट्स इन आवर एप्लीकेशन द एप्लीकेशन दैट वेर गो नॉट बिल्ड हेयर इज अ डेमो वेन वी क्लिक दिस बटन इट चेंजेस द टेक्सट नाउ लेट्स बिल्ड इट Let's open the Android Studio. We are gonna prepare the layout first with a text view and a button. For this example, I'll be using relative layout as a parent layout. So let me replace the relative layout with a constant layout. Now let's add a text view with a height and width wrap content. For now, let's set the text to high. I will change the text color to Android black. Let's increase the text size to 28 SP. I will put the text at the center horizontal and set the value it's true. Now the text at the center. Now let's give the text an ID. For giving ID, we will use attribute Android colon ID. Let's give a ID a text. Now let's create the button with the height and width wrap content. Now I put the button below of the text. So I will give the ID of the text. and i will place the button center horizontally here you can see that button is the below of the text and it's placed on the center horizontally let's give a text to the button click and set the text style to bold to make it more look like it now let's give the button an id i will give this button id click you can give any id you want let's place this two views at the center of the layout for this i'll be using central vertical attribute set this value to true as you can see the value views are placed at the center now let's move on to the java file where we are actually going to code this is the main activity dot java here we are going to write the code that handles the clicks that perform on this button first let's create two variables for the button and the text view now i will assign those views to their ids for do that type the variable name is equal to find view by id r dot id dot the id that we have give in mm. 
Oops, I think I did a mistake. Let me correct it. I'll do the same for the next view. Now let's call send on click listener on this button. And now set the text of this button that you want. For this we'll be using set text class. And in the quotation marks, we'll be writing the text that you want to change into the text. Now that all of it's done, it is the code, this is the whole code that we need to create our application. Now we just have to test the code. For testing the code, click in the run button and this is the window pop up. Here you have to choose the device that you want to run the app. I will be using my Samsung Android device. It's better to run the code in a physical device. For that, connect your device to the computer via an USB cable and if you don't see any signals, follow these steps. Go to your device settings. From here, go to the about phone section and you have to find the build number of your phone. Tap on the build number at least 7 times to enable the developer option. When you have enabled the developer option, go back and you will find the developer option below. Go to the developer options and then enable the USB debugging mode. Now you should able to get the device signal and Android Studio.